So coming in at 5th place on this list is the Apple MacBook for 2016, which is definitely Apple's most attractive laptop. It's got an Intel Skylake Core M processor and it clocks in at 1.1GHz to start, but it has a really nice aluminum unibody design and the Retina display has also arrived. Now aside from a 3.5mm headphone jack, the only connector port remains USB Type-C, so if you're actually willing to lug cable adapters and take a performance hit in the name of a stellar design, this laptop is definitely for you. With that said, the reason why it's 5th place is it is a very specific laptop targeted at a very niche audience, so if you're looking for a system that's a little bit more versatile, you probably want to keep on watching. So fourth place in this video actually goes to another very interesting laptop, it's the Razer Blade Stealth, which is slimmer and lighter than similar laptops from Dell and Apple. Even the base model includes a Core i7 processor and a fun chroma backlit keyboard, and the standout feature on this laptop is the promise of future expansion via an external graphics box for gaming. This isn't a slim at all costs high fashion ultrabook, and it's not a gaming laptop either. It's basically an amalgam of different ideas of what a high end ultrabook style laptop should be, including some wishlist items I've wanted for years. The only slight downside to this laptop is that the great looking 4K screen on the top end model takes a major hit on battery life, so you'll probably need to keep this plugged in a lot of the time. Now third place goes to a laptop that I've been a fan of for quite a while, it's Microsoft's first ever laptop, the Surface Book. Even though it has a peculiar 3-2 aspect ratio and a 13.5 inch screen that's outside of the norm for most ultrabooks, it's one of the best designed convertible laptops ever created. As a standalone tablet, otherwise known as the clipboard, it's the most powerful and thinnest Windows 10 computer in the world. And then if you dock the screen into the keyboard base, it actually gives it even more performance by the way of a discrete GPU. You're getting some very solid specs with this thing, and even though it is a little bit expensive, the Surface Book's futuristic design will help keep it relevant for years to come. Now coming in at number 2 is a much less flashy laptop, but it's a really solid choice nonetheless. The Samsung Notebook 9 comes in at $949, and it actually offers a lot more bang for your buck than you'll see in most laptops. Unlike most of the competition now, it's an ultrabook with a full-fledged Core i5 Skylake processor, and that alone makes it effectively more powerful than a MacBook with a better screen resolution than a MacBook Air, while still retaining a lower price point. On the downside, it's the battery life that still takes a hit as a result, but again, the fact that it's a nearly perfect display, and the fact that it's competitively priced may make it a really solid choice for you. But with that said, coming in at first place is the gorgeous Dell XPS 13, which is actually the exact same laptop that I had as number one last year. This is still the best laptop that you can buy today, it features a revolutionary design that's astonishingly thin and light. Fitting a 13.3 inch screen into an 11 inch frame is no small feat, but Dell has actually pulled off a miracle by creating a nearly borderless infinity display. It's a powerful and long lasting machine even by today's ultrabook standards, and it also comes outfitted with Intel's latest Skylake processors plus lighting, quick storage, and memory, all while coming in at a very affordable starting price. I've seen the Dell XPS 13 for less than $800 on Amazon, and honestly at that price range it's a laptop that you just can't miss. But with that said, give me your opinions on your favourite laptop of 2016 in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed this list and if you want to see another one sometime in the future. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.